Yeah, bro, I am not capping. Blade Ball is adding some weird stuff to the game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Your boy Ropex here. And Blade Ball has just announced a lot of new things recently about what they're going to be adding to the game. This includes a new game mode, a new weapon thing, not like the shield or like the sword, a brand new weapon. They also announced a way for you to get a mythical item for free. Yes, I'm not capping. A mythical item. What is listed as a mythical item? I'd say it would be Phantom Infinity. I don't know, maybe Rapture. All of these paid things that you can only get in like wheels and spins and stuff like that. Those are listed as mythical items. And all that for free. Now that's a good update. So let's go over everything. So the latest thing that Blade Ball had released was the shield, right? So this shield, you can buy yeah. four Robux for $3.99, which I am giving away the red one to a random subscriber that is in my Discord and comments their username. So go to all my videos, guys, comment your username, and I may pick you and announce you on Discord. So you must be subscribed, comment, and be in my Discord. Go while you still can enter the giveaway so they add a shield okay the shield can block a ball and deflect it we can get that the blade ball system has turned into like weapon ball or i don't know multi things there's not just blade ball anymore there's gauntlets there's shields there's flashlights and there's even a rifle the so blade ball announced their next update that they're thinking about adding and this includes a lot of things right like i said earlier but the main first thing that we're going to talk about is the gun so we already have this rifle in the game and this one you basically just hit people with it let's see See, just like that. So I don't know how this is going to work, guys. Are we just going to be hitting the ball back and forth with the thing? Or is it like launch a bullet out and just going to hit the ball in the middle like that? I don't know how this is going to work. But it's a pretty cool concept. Blade Ball is not turning into Blade Ball anymore. They might have to rename it to Weapon Ball. So Blade Ball is technically getting deleted unless they don't rename it. Because, you know, it's a big brand. I don't think they're going to rename it. But, okay, let's read this out. We're most likely going to be working on a dual wheel gun blaster. Along with a two-bladed sword where the hilt of the sword is in the middle. Let me know if these things are interesting to you guys and what you'd like to see made with that concept in mind so do you guys think this is interesting i actually find it kind of interesting they're branching out to more for the game now we have the next part of the thing that they also said a new game mode it's a new game mode server hey again sorry for the pain we're looking to potentially add a duos game mode where players are sorted into a round with their teammate if a player dies but their teammate is still alive the other teammate can respawn if the player is still alive for five seconds if the both players die they're out respawn time progressively get higher as you die more and more so basically what they're saying is they'll be adding a mode where you have infinite respawns basically and you're with a partner or a team whatever and if you die and, but your teammate is still alive after five seconds you get brought back in same goes the other way if you're still alive but your teammate is dead they get five seconds but every time you or your teammate dies it adds so let's say five times one death okay that's five seconds and this is both together combined i'm guessing so five times two two deaths that's 10 seconds five times 10 that's 50 seconds like that so it'll get higher every time you die and your teammate has to survive for a longer and longer period of time now this game mode actually sounds really fun because now we don't have to wait like two three four two thousand years later for like a game to end right it'll just end and hopefully you can get back in with your teammate this will be a lot more fun i find this is a super great idea that play ball is adding and it will add more variety variety to the game because let's be honest it's getting kind of repetitive what do you guys think of this one as well let me know i think this is a splendid idea that they're adding and now we're having the biggest issue solved to mankind bro the biggest issue so we all know we're all broke right even i'm broke guys i can barely afford like two shields a week right but now we can't get stuff like infinity phantom these are all concepts on the image that i'm showing you guys on the screen right now but as you can see on the bottom it says check in after day 29 for one mythical ability so if they're giving ability i'm guessing they're they have to give ability that costs robux right because no one wants to sign in every day for ability that you can get with just coins right so let's say like i'm signing in 29 days and i get super yeah. like no so so many people would rage and want to quit the game after that. There's no point in logging in day after day if it's just that. The mythical ability must be referencing to all the abilities that cost robots. So using this as a factor, we can confidently say that they're gonna give a mythical weapons that you can't get or are. So let's say a lot of people can't get the unique weapons anymore or these limited. I'm guessing they won't do the limited because people will get really mad if they bring back a limited weapon for free when we paid robots for it, right? But they might do some unique abilities like hunted harvester, plasma gauntlets, stuff like that that we can't everyone could have gotten but they just didn't or they might just add new weapons in general that would be the best method so there's a lot of days day seven you get that and then if we look at day 14 there's another weapon so it goes every week you get a cool new item so first week weapon second week weapon third week weapon fourth week ability or third week might be 
explosion. Like I said before, we saw that rainbow explosion that I'm gonna put on screen right now. That rainbow explosion might be one of the th least things on this because I said it's gonna be in a pack, but now that they have released this free to play concept, it might be part of that because I saw it in test servers. But if we look here, we don't see it anymore, right? We don't see the rainbow thing. So this might be part of the free to play concept that they're releasing. And again, guys, it's not guaranteed that you're going to have infinity in day nine. But if we look here, images are concept, not actually going to be in infinity. I have to clarify on that just in case people threaten me. They didn't, he didn't say that it's not going to be phantom, right? It says phantom on the bottom, but and it says infinity on the right side. So day nine, infinity. No, it's not going to be that. But he didn't clarify that it's not going to be phantom. So meaning you could still get phantom. It's not a limited ability anymore. Halloween phantom ability. <laughs> so this just saves us the hassle and brain and our banks and everything on losing money. Now, it's just about to end this. But then I remember two things that I forgot to tell you guys. So there is one more game mode that they were thinking of making. And it's very similar to another game that I'm going to mention in a bit. The thing that the developer Deuce underscore small said is a game mode where the ball can bounce off of walls, manipulate its trajectory so this is very similar to a game i call death ball in death ball it's basically kind of like blade ball power ball everything's copying each other right but in this one it's kind of more animated you can look at the ball you have three lives so you can get hit three times before you die it's a bit harder because the ball can go all over the place and your camera angle can change all over. There's abilities, not just like blade ball abilities, like actual abilities like kill was god speed mode and stuff like that. So this is death ball and that's basically what death ball is. The ball bounces off trajectory and stuff like that. Now if we think about it like that, I don't know what they're going to do because there's already a game already based on what they're saying rather than a new one. But they might add it so it'll be fun. It'll also give it more. So I would recommend they add it. I don't think they would get into any legal trouble because it's a concept in their game not copying an entirely different game and basically all the games are copies of each other fireball genji ball all that so i think it should work out and now there is also a night market this is a very cool update but people have not been giving the right information on it a night shop like in Gala, where special theme skins are shown only during nighttime now if we think about what he said right there and take the key concept shown only during nighttime now he has to clarify on that is it the game night time is it his night time is it easter night time where what night time because everyone has different time zones right so are they gonna code it to work in the, a person's time zone are they gonna code it to work in the game night time what is it gonna be like and is it gonna be robux coins who knows it's probably gonna be robux most likely unless they add a system where you can gain points kind of like in balance we already have the coin so basically they did add it but yeah so okay that's all they have to announce for now but i'm gonna if any more announcements come i'm gonna be showing it on this channel so make sure you guys subscribe we're trying to hit 10k by the end of the year and it would help a lot if everyone that watching would subscribe it does not take much of your day thank you all for watching see you in the next video guys uh i needed like five more seconds to get to eight minutes so here's how much i edited guys yay